what is up guys and in today's video i will be showing you how to get square dead zone uh on the epic games version of rocket league um it's really simple and yeah because i know i've watched loads of videos on how to do it um when i was trying to do it and none really explain to like the best they could some videos say to do this some videos to do that um well this is the best way of doing it so you're going to want to start on steam and you want to press add a game at the bottom left press add a non-steam game go to browse now to find it it will be in your windows then programs 86 files um, times 86 then go to epic games uh, launcher engine go to binaries win 64 and it'll be the epic games launcher so just press on it press open and add selected uh, things and you should see it here now straight after that you want to add a non steam game again browse we jump all the way out here you go to windows again or wherever your uh, program files are located go to program files find epic games rocket league uh, binaries win 64 and rocket league should be here now you just want to open that and add the selected um, so now we have rocket league and epic games now what you want to go and do is go and add your uh, controller so I'm just gonna plug in my controller right now and you should see the icon on the right show up there we go so now hover over the epic games one go over to manage properties controller uh, make sure this is enable steam input uh, no disable steam input and same as Rocket League so manage properties controller disable steam input now go to epic games again press the controller press enable and you should be on this screen you then want to go to edit layout go to joysticks uh left joystick scroll down you should see dead zone uh put that to custom and put that to so cross is normally what the pros use like zen um vatira so people like them so i'm gonna go to square just where so it shows the best uh these you can all change are like 85 and max command radius so as you can see square then you just want to back out like so and now we're back here so rocket league you want to press con the controller and it should say enable don't press enable leave it as disable now go into epic games launcher and launch it and from here you want to go press the top right go down to settings and turn off minimize the system tray so i'll turn that off close it again I'll close for some reason um go back to steam um, if it doesn't close just don't stress use task manager and just close it there we go now you want to go over to epic games again press play go down to rocket league i'm just going to put backers mod on for the moment just to be able to see that it is square dead zone so we're just going to wait for that As we can see rocket league is now loading up now we are just going to go into training free play and soccer now what i'm going to do is put on the backers mod uh checker so if we turn on backers mod go to plugins joystick self check turn it on um, and this is basically is what's going to show us normally it's in a circle uh, and if you've done this right, you should see what should happen. So as we can see, we can go in all corners. Where on circle, it's just going to be sort of, well, literally in a circle. This is now square dead zone. So you could sort of mess around, do whatever you want with it. Um, you can Obviously, a lot of freestylers like square. I'm not, I don't really use square, so I'm not too sure really how to use it. 
but you can get used to it and that is literally how you get square dead zone um or cross dead zone whichever you prefer um you can literally add either one just as long as you put that minimize to system tree uh disabled on the epic games launcher because that's the biggest mistake a load of people are do all the other steps but not do that and that's why we'll mess them up um so you are gonna want to do that before you actually load up the game so yeah i hope you did enjoy don't forget to like subscribe and comment and i will see you in the next one nice one